Hey guys, today we're doing f flash effects. I forgot my pants. Be right back. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Today we're taking on a request from Dylan Shrugs who asked, can you make a super speed effect like The Flash on the TV show, The Flash, including the lightning? Hell yes we can! And don't worry dude, I won't forget the lightning, because you know why? We already made some sweet lightning back in season one with our forced lightning episodes. So we'll be modifying that to suit our needs today. Because let's face it, why reinvent the wheel? Or in this case, reinvent the lightning. Silly. Anyway, shooting this is easy guys. Just shoot on a tripod so your shot is locked off. And if you want someone else in the shot reacting to the flash running past, be sure to shoot them on a separate plate. And just for added effect, we may use some dust elements from Action Essentials too. Now, let's get to work. Okay guys, I've got my footage cut and placed into a comp. And if we head over to the project window, you can see I've got a folder marked Flash Download Pack. That contains our lightning and the expression we'll be using later. So let's open that up and grab our yellow lightning comp. The first thing we're going to do is turn off all of these adjustment layers above as they're all different stages of blurring and they'll make our reference footage look like crap. Speaking of which, let's drag our footage comp in and place it right at the bottom. From there, let's hit the stopwatch on origin and direction on our lightning and basically what we're going to do is pick a spot on our actor, like the shoulder here, and just try and stick to that spot as best you can while they're moving. With the tail end here, you can drag that out longer as the actor moves and then start to shrink it down as they slow down, like I do when I reach the door. When you're done, turn off the reference footage and turn all of those layers back on, and you're left with this. Now you may have noticed in the example, we also had a red streak. That's because we have a second lightning streak. So head on over to the project window and grab the red lightning comp. This one is a little different. Our next step is to pick another spot on the body and repeat this process once more, animating both the origin and the direction until your actor moves off screen. Once again, turn the actor layer off when you're done and turn all those other layers back on. From there, let's head back to our original footage comp, drop both lightning comps in, we'll then duplicate both, change one layer to lighten and one layer to screen. And the end result should look like this. Looks pretty stupid, eh? Well, we ain't done yet. We've added our lightning, now it's time to speed this bitch up. Let's highlight all of the layers, right click and pre-compose them. Name it flash and then we'll right click again, head to time and enable time remapping. Let's squeeze that keyframe down until it gives off a real flash speed style. Now guys, this will be pretty individual, you know, to your own footage. So squeeze it down or lengthen it out as much as you like. It's completely up to you. Let's check out a preview. Getting better. Our next step, head over to the presets menu, type force and add CC force motion blur. Let's change a few settings. I'll change the motion blur samples to 18 and the shutter angle to 200. But once again, just have a play and see what works for your shot. One thing I don't like is that it not only blurs out the actor, but it also blurs out the lightning, making it kind of hard to see. Let's fix that now. We'll head to the project window, highlight the flash pre-comp, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. We'll then reopen both comps. From there, we'll turn off the lightning layers on flash one and turn off the footage layer on flash two. Now that we've done that, head back to the final comp, add our flash two comp. We'll then right click, head up, enable time remapping. And then we'll squeeze that keyframe down so it matches exactly with the timing of our previous flash comp. We'll duplicate the footage and change the transfer mode to the top one to lighten and the bottom layer to screen. Let's check out a preview. Not bad, but let's add some dust elements to really sell that effect. Let's grab our Action Essentials 2 dust wave file. Pick anyone you like really, they're all pretty similar. And then let's drop it into that comp. Scale it up if you were too cheap to buy the 2K version like me. I'm also going to change the transfer mode to screen just so it blends a little bit better. We'll right click, enable time remapping on this layer too, and squeeze it down until it fires a little quicker as our flash runs past. This is also pretty individualistic, so just do whatever you like here. Our last step is to highlight everything and pre-comp it one more time. We can name this one final, as in it's 
finally gonna be done. Next, head over to the presets menu and type slider. Grab the slider controls and drop them onto our layer. We'll then collapse down all of our settings until the slider controls and position are exposed. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch on position. We'll then type this expression, wiggle, bracket, 10, comma, 100, and bracket. That will give us a little bit of camera shake as our flash runs past. But of course, we don't want the camera to keep shaking. So let's delete the 100, grab that pick whip and link it to our slider control. Click out of the expression and we can now adjust the shake using our slider. Pretty cool, eh? Let's hit the stopwatch on our slider controls, move forward a few frames when our actor has just entered the frame, and let's crank it up to say 17. We'll then shift forward to just after our actor is off screen and crank it back down to zero. At this point, we'll also hit S and scale up our comp to say 103%. Doing this will hide the edges of your comp peeking in while the wiggle's taking place. Obviously, if you crank up the wiggle a little bit further, you'll have to increase the scale as well. Turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer, and let's check out a preview. Nice. As you can see, the shake gives the illusion that the actor's speed is affecting the camera as he runs past. Add up all of those steps and you'll get something like this. Hey guys, today we're doing f flash effects. I forgot my pants. Be right back. So that's my version of the flash running effect, guys. It's pretty easy to achieve, especially when you don't have to build that lightning yet again. A big thanks to everyone for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please like and share the video. If you're new here, my subscribe button beckons your click. If you have a request, check me out in the comments section or on my Twitter or the Facebook page. And as always, keep learning.